Hi, so, good morning. Arthur. Thank you very much. So I'm going to speak to you about um, a new generation cloud-based software for amblyopia management called Binox. I am on the medical advisory board of Binox, and I always have to disclose that I'm on the board of directors of Alcon, and this is my personal opinion about Binox. So amblyopia, or lazy eye, is decreased eyesight due to abnormal visual development, and it affects 2 to 4% of the global population, so it's a lot of people who are affected. And there are a number of shortcomings in the way we manage it. Um, residual amblyopia, there's poor compliance with patching, recurrence of amblyopia, deficits in stereopsis, and it's ineffective in adults, as we know. So but we know that amblyopia is a binocular visual problem, and the newer treatment modalities are aimed at treating both eyes at the same time and not patching. So Binox is a company started out in India, and they've looked at it this way. Until telescopes were invented, no one thought Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto existed. But when you look at a problem in a different way, you might see different solutions. So Binox Ambligo is the, is the program, bursts the myth that adults can't be treated for amblyopia. And it can treat amblyopes of all age groups using dicoptic principles. And with dicoptic therapy, both eyes are presented simultaneously with images of different contrast, with a dominant eye receiving the image with a lower contrast. So in the brain, the two eyes are seeing the same now for the first time ever. It promotes the development of binocular vision by reducing inhibitory influence of the dominant eye within the ocular dominance column. And it offers this, di this dicoptic amblyopia therapy in the form of games. So people play a game not even knowing they're busy doing therapy. And with progressive improvement in acuity, the games become more difficult with variation of the size, speed, and crowding of the stimuli. So the salient features are it's cloud-based software. It's hardware agnostic. You do it in your own, your own laptop, your own computer screen. It's a binocular approach, 30 sessions um, of 30 minutes. So most people do five days a week, weekends off for six weeks. It's clinical home-based. We mostly use it um, home-based. It's effective as primary treatment of amblyopia. It's effective in adult amblyopia. It's effective in residual amblyopia, refractory amblyopia. Um, visual improvement is impressive. Four lines typically in the, the um, amblyopic eye and an improvement in stereopsis. The gains are permanent and um, the company provides complete support. And patients will tell you it's simple and easy to use. There are num a number of games. The results are fast. Within six weeks, you have the result. For children, you don't have the social embarrassment of patching. Um, there's better judgment of depth and a high quality 3D vision. And this, we've had 32 patients that we've had through Binox, and patients have this response. I cannot begin to explain how overjoyed I am that this therapy actually works. These are patients who've never had a solution. So the clinical results, this is from the initial Indian study. Um, you can see different age groups, 4 to 8 on the left and 9 to 13, and you can see the significant improvement in binocular vision um, with therapy, including in the older group that typically we, we don't have treatment for. And you can also see in the two groups, on the left, age 4 to 8, on the right, 9 to 13, how binocular vision improves and 90% of patients develop or gain stereopsis. This is a case, a 23-year-old. You can see on the left eye, 624, amblyopic due to the anisometropia, the eyes suppressed for distance and near, and no stereopsis. And six weeks later, the eyes improved to 2025, N6, there's fusion for distance and near, and you can see how stereopsis has improved. Another patient, nine years old, amblyopic in both eyes, 612. Um, the prison bar cover test, 30 diopters for near, 45 for distance, um, 120 seconds of arc for near, absent for distance, and following therapy, you can see the improvement. So the advantages of dicoptic management are very good compliance. You're playing a game. No one knows you even have amblyopia. There's a faster improvement in visual acuity, three to six lines in six weeks. Restoration of binocular vision. Um, it's effective in the older age group. And there are no recurrences. From the regulatory side, it's FDA registered. Um, there's global intellectual property secured. The CE approval process in, is in place. It's almost there. And it's also the um, same thing in Singapore and in India. In, compared to other therapies on the market, there are quite a few in the space now, is Binox is the only one that also addresses fusion and stereopsis and is hardware agnostic. So you can do it in your own um, hardware. You don't have to get any um, additional hardware. So thank you very much for your attention. Oh, we have now five minutes for uh, discussion. So.
Anyone on the panel wants to ask a question to Arthur? Uh, can I ask a question? Yeah. Arthur, it was really interesting. Uh, do you think uh, it's possible to use uh, uh, these binox in other directions when we do have problems uh, problems with uh, binocular visions? For example, our patients with uh, multifocal areas, or uh, probably to um, improve the narrow adaptation when we create an anisometric. That's a really good question. So I don't have personal experience, but I've spoken to the company a number of times about exactly that issue. And they've got a number of cases that have had success where the patient's about to be explanted from their trifocal because of dysphotopsia issues they couldn't deal with. And then they start Binox therapy and they keep the lens and love the lens. So it certainly helps neuroadaptation, no question. But I don't have personal experience. Actually, I believe in this program because I use similar system 12 years ago I started, and we have done a few hundred cases, a system called NeuroVision. It's for amblyopic. It was uh, the startup started by uh, Uri Polat in Israel. And it should, actually, I'm still using this program. And the success rate, uh, we, we have few uh, hundred uh, patients. It's uh, improved two to three lines in the amblyopic patients. We started from the age and above, not uh, children, for children different type of... Uh, we used that same program some years ago. I think they've rebranded to Revital Vision, I think they're called now. And we got the same as you, two or three lines. But yeah, we're consistently seeing four or five line improvement. It's improving the vis yes. visual acuity, the stereopsis from yeah. 300 seconds to 140. And we have follow-up of two years that after two years, even the steropsis is improving to 100. And it, it's, we, uh, we have done follow-up in uh, the visual acuity remained after two hours, two years. We have to do some uh, boost in few cases, but uh, treatment, but it's good. I think this is a very good system. I think it should be. Yeah, I, I, I've actually used uh, Revital Vision in my clinic and um, and also, I've started to use Binox, and I, I think I'm on the medical boards. <laughs> I attended one, one meeting. Um, and uh, my impression, uh, Dr. Levinger, is that um, the Gabor patch-based system is very, very onerous on the patient. It, it really it takes a huge effort for patients to sit in front of a screen looking at a patch that's switching around mindlessly listening to classical time. music or jazz or maybe some John Coltrane. Uh, you know, and um, the, the difference with this system uh, is that I believe that the Revital Vision is working on the monocular cells and it's trying to work at the lateral genetic body on trying to activate, you know, the, the system in that level, whereas Binox is working on the binocular cells. And the monocular cells tend to slow down in terms of their plasticity after the age of seven, as we were all taught in high school. And, um, but somehow, the binocular cells remain plastic forever. And, and this is what's, fa I mean, what for me, was the big learning. I never, you know, it's nice to learn something new when you're older, uh, that, that these cells do actually uh, wake up. Um, and. Uh, so our experience has been not as many as yours because we have fewer patients so far through the system. Um, so we've had a mixed uh, success and I don't know whether that's related to the patients themselves. We've had one patient, for example, who was 20, 30 in one eye, minus six or so, did smile, ended up on target, went for the program, and we detected that he had an increase in contrast sensitivity in his amblyopic eye but we could not get the vision to be better. Um, and uh, we communicated with the company about this and uh, the logic that, that perhaps the company's policy, which is that if you don't gain two lines, you get your money back, uh, might have had something to do with the supratentorial uh, <laughs> enhancement that that patient had, um, where the uh, contrast improved, but the, 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 the low-level contrast vision improved, but the 100% contrast uh, didn't improve. So, so just to say that, you know, the company is doing this in a way which is almost like a no win, no lose, no fee thing. So if you don't get the effect, 
you know, take your money. You, you got to play a computer game for a while. Um, but it is, it is, I think it's one of the most uh, interesting new things that has happened in the last year, uh, to us anyway. Yeah, exactly. All right. That's it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.